DeSantis is like a 10 and 0 team. Okay, he's got a booming economy, and more people are moving there than any other state in the country. It's Florida that looks like the future. And Ron DeSantis, you know, he looks like a future president, doesn't he? DeSantis wins, and he has yeah. made a promise, and he's making good on the promise. If only that was some of the coverage of Ron DeSantis right now. In fact, that was some of the coverage before Florida Governor Ron DeSantis launched his presidential campaign. It's, well, in terms of polling, largely been downhill from there. In fact, ahead of next week's debate, he's having some of the lowest poll numbers in his history, as you can see on the chart there. In February, before launch, there was 15 points between him and Donald Trump. Trump is in purple at the top, and then you have Ron DeSantis in green. Now, at 14%, and Trump at 62, he's nearly 50 points behind. Carly Atchison, national spokeswoman for DeSantis, joins us now from the first in the nation contest, Des Moines, Iowa. Good to see you. Thank you. All right, what's the plan between now and caucus day? Well, first, want to point out that tonight is a great opportunity. We're excited on Team DeSantis. Ron is, DeSantis is about to take the stage against oh, Gavin come Newsom. Oh, come on. You can't plug something on a different network, Carly. <laughs> come on. Uh, well, that's going to be a great debate, not just between the Florida model or the California model, uh, but more about two competing visions for the future of our country. Um, and that's a debate that uh, America deserves to have. Um, and so, but you asked about Iowa and the First in the Nation caucus. Um, as you mentioned, I'm here in Des Moines. Uh, a lot of momentum here on the ground. And so if you're looking at national polling, you're missing the picture. Ron DeSantis has secured a key endorsement from Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds. That's the first time in, since 1996 that a sitting governor has weighed in. Bob Vanderplas has now said he's all in. He's the Iowa kingmaker. Uh, we also have 41 endorsements from state legislators. That's eight times as many as Nikki Haley and twice as many as Donald Trump. Um, so we're looking forward to January 15th. I've interviewed Bob Vanderplas uh, about this issue. Uh, let me ask you this way. You just mentioned two people, Donald Trump and Nikki Haley. Do you all view this as a three-person race? Nope, not at all. We view it as a two-person race. And by the way, so does Donald Trump. He has spent over $30 million against Ron DeSantis, uh, has hardly spent a dime against Nikki Haley. And interestingly, Nikki Haley has spent millions of dollars against Ron DeSantis and zero dollars against Donald Trump. So everybody seems to be real united around Ron DeSantis. Why is that? That's because he is the biggest threat to this, uh, to everybody in this campaign. It's why they'll continue to spend millions of dollars against him. And you played some of the coverage since before Donald Trump dropped that $30 million in negative spending. Um, and yet we're still here. Again, a lot of momentum here on the ground. We have the best ground game, the uh, largest operation, six offices across the state of Iowa for 50 staffers. Okay, so we'll uh, nobody matches that. Look, you guys have, you do have an impressive ground game in Iowa, and there was, Ron DeSantis took, spent a lot of time in Iowa over the summer. We were there uh, as well for the state fair. I would wonder, though, why in a state where retail politics is so important and the candidate spends so much time on the stump, if he is as good on the stump and as charismatic and as charming to Iowa voters as you say, why his poll numbers keep going down the more exposure Iowa voters get to him. Well, first of all, you're pointing to national polls. So not every poll is asking Iowa caucus goers what they think. But here's what I can tell you. Um, there's a lot of open minds here on the ground. And they come to events for Ron DeSantis. They go to events for Trump. They go to events for Nikki Haley. Uh, a lot of our, our people who come to our events come in. They're open minded. They're not sure. They walk out, uh, sign and commit to caucus cards for Ron DeSantis. And spending time on the ground here matters. Uh, we're going to yeah. hit our 99th county, Jasper County, on Saturday. No other candidate is doing that. Um, and that means something to Iowans here. They want to see you. They want to meet you. And Ron DeSantis is the only candidate who's been spending time here in Iowa running a real campaign. Yeah, fair enough. It, time on the ground matters. Um, Carly, we'll see you on the trail. Stay warm. It gets awfully chilly in Iowa come December. Thank you. Thank you, Leland. Thanks for having me. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.